So, for the first step for the wolf, you have to go down to the rocket pad. Which is awesome because I need to go down there anyway and teleport the pack up. Sorry, teleport what the pap machine. So, you stand here, take aim at the flag. What should happen... Can be very fickle sometimes. There we go. Okay, health low, health low. But, it can be very fickle, so you gotta just keep trying. But, it will drop this. Let's go. Pick it up. If you activated the Wonder Sphere back at the spawn, you can just launch yourself up. I think I enjoyed that. But once you land, just run through this entrance and see this dog? Boop! Give it its head. And you get a nice little puppy for it. You must now follow the puppy. The puppy. And he will bring you good luck and fortune. Nope. Just kidding. Remember how I mentioned that a lot of this is just a soul box? Now what? Something in ground? Well, he digs out the ground for a moment. And soul box. Yep. You literally just got done feeding the dragon. Congratulations. Here, kill more enemies in certain locations. Yeah, screw it. So, real quick, while I doing this, considering this is just grinding. I'm going to, uh, show you something fun that I did. Me and a bunch of my friends, we went back, like how we always did, to Destiny last night. We literally played through the Vault of Glass using a bunch of year one gear. And we just had, like, a damn good time at it. I killed Crota in six hit. We went, fought, uh, Skull Lots again. I don't know why I said that. Wanted for some reason, part of me wanted to say Asgore, but that's Undertale. Uh, but we based off against Scout. Like we did everything you won. I thought Sneaky German was Helping's favorite. But we faced Skullots, killed him practically freaking instantly. And it felt so good to be back. It felt so wonderful to be back in that game. Like, Bungie, if you are some, for some reason listening to this, make new PvE content, please. And actually tell us about it. Hold on. Nikolai is coming. So, uh, yeah, you gotta do this three times, by the way. Okay. One arrow, one shot, all dead. Not all, but close enough. The states will provide for our needs. Whee! Oh, he's done. I almost killed them. Okay, so you are legitimately collecting pieces of a skeleton. For those who have a fear of skeletons, I, saw, I apologize. But get over it. Like, that, that's a silly fear in my opinion. Like, this fear of skeletons. You'll never see a skeleton. 
like skeletons aren't gonna come to life and attack us okay and as we do the city little hidden easter egg on this map to turn all the zombies into skeletons yes there is an easter egg like that how do you activate it? I have no idea. I've actually kind of skipped watching videos on it because it looks stupid. <laughs> okay, real quick. So I should have this ironically in a moment because this like, a lot of people say the storm bow is the fastest. I disagree. In my opinion, this one is the fastest because, I mean, yes, the, like, it does take some time, but, and yes, the second step is technically a soul box, but, you see why I argue this point in a moment. Oh yeah, I can't run on the walls right now. Why did no one tell Nikolai he was so popular with hell pigs? Okay, so once you pick up all the pieces, run on the wall, shoot right there. Platform will rise up. So stand here, hold X, and then you'll be given the reforged arrow. And your little goat's puppy will disappear. So if you want to keep the goat's puppy around, I'm sorry. It's not going to happen. Put that there to get a max ammo and begin a fight for your life in a way. Because now, you just got to take out everybody. You know when it's finished because no more souls will be taken in, but also because of the most important reason, it will glow. Anything glowing is obviously finished. See, it's glowing. Did you run out to it? Hold X. It takes your bow from you. Takes it in. Boom, you got one bow. Now, if you pick it up, you will get an achievement. 